Hi guys, in today's tutorial video, we are going to be learning about the concept of zero. Okay, some people believe that zero means something, while some other people believe that zero do not mean anything. So we are going to clear the doubt today. We are also going to learn the concept behind all this. Without further ado, let's continue. Zero is a very special number. Now, take a look at this number line. The, this number line has two set of numbers. The positive numbers and the negative numbers. Zero being the origin of numbers is the halfway between minus one and plus one on the number line zero is neither a negative number nor a positive number but it is an even number zero as a placeholder for example when you have four and four zero this is called four a single four and this is 40 okay without the zero they look almost the same in fact they look the same okay the same thing when you have 602 and that is pronounced 602 if you pull the zero out then you have 62 okay so in this place it shows that zero is a placeholder zero actually makes sense in this place okay so when zero is found in the middle of numbers that zero is a placeholder it means the zero makes sense here okay now what is the value of zero if you have three oranges in a basket and then you eat up all the three oranges in that basket what do you have you have zero oranges okay so it means that zero has a value in that sense okay zero can also be same as an addictive identity now what do i mean by an addictive identity okay. for example when you add zero to a number you would get the same number but when you have seven plus zero it gives you seven now let's look at some special properties of what zero and these will aid beautiful understanding okay now when you have four plus zero gives you four okay at the same time when you have four subtracted by zero it it also gives you what four now four multiplied with zero gives you zero when you have zero divided by four it gives you zero okay now when we have 4 divided by 0, what do you have? If you use the calculator, it will tell you it is undefined. Okay? That means it is not possible for you to divide a number with 0. Okay? With this point, I believe that you understand the concept of 0. Now, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Turn on the notification bell so that you can get first hand videos like this. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.